Hi, I'm Malcolm, the developer of Wear Button Remapper. Today I'm going to show you how to use Wear Button Remapper on a Pixel Watch. So let's open the app, find it in my app list. There it is. And we can see a welcome screen here with some tips on how to use the app. It's worth taking the time to read this, but for now I'll just tap OK. We need to give accessibility permission for this app to work, so let's do that. Scroll down. Enable. Yes, I'm sure. And back in the app. This is a list of all the mappings. Obviously, we haven't set anything up yet. So let's start doing that. Now, uh, Wear OS watches, modern Wear OS watches, have two action buttons. Uh, one is the, uh, the crown in this case, that's reserved for the operating system. So today we'll focus mostly on the top button and how to make it do some useful things. So let's start by going into the button remap screen. Uh, and one short press, let's um, let's set that to my uh, web podcatcher app. So there it is. And let's say one long press it is going to be. Let's say keep notes. And finally, let's do two short presses. And let's make that open my Alexa voice assist app. So done. We can also override one app to be um, overridden by another. Uh, and there are three different uh, possibilities to do that. Let's just do the first one. Let's override Google Wallet. There it is. And let's set that to be overridden by, let's say, media controls. Um, quick look at settings. We can change the uh, the time period for the short press. It's 300 milliseconds by default. Long press is 500. And we can also prevent default apps from opening on short button presses. There's more about that in the in the help screen. So we can just do one final check that everything is as we want. One short press, where podcatcher, one long press, keep notes. Two short presses, Alexa voice assist. And override Google Wallet with media controls. So let's save. And let's try it out and see what happens. So if I do one short press, there's where... My Wear Podcatcher app. Let's do one long press. It opens Google Assistant, but then it opens Keep Notes on top. And of course, this could be any app that you choose. Let's do two quick presses. And it's opening Alexa Voice Assist. So I'll just close that down. So in other videos, I'll show how to install Wear Button Remapper uh, and also uh, show it on a Samsung Galaxy Watch. I'll include links to those videos in the notes below. You can find Wear Button Remapper, FreePoc Downloader, and all my other free apps at my FreePoc website. Again, see the links below. That's about it for now. 
Thanks for watching and see you again soon.